a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> with Nancy. My name is Nancy as majority of y'all know and for my returning subscribers, returning viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you. At Home with Nancy is about all things fancy from interior decor to fashion, beauty, lifestyle. So I would just want to plead with y'all that if you are interested in any one of these things, please, please, please hit that subscribe button so y'all could join the most high gang and please hit the notification bell so you could get notified when i post new content so connect with me you can also follow my instagram page nancy underscore new where i post regularly every week or sometimes twice a week and of course sometimes i talk to some of my youtube viewers on there so today's video is gonna be all about pretty little thin spring haul so spring is almost here so i decided to do this video for y'all just showing you a few things i picked out from pretty little thin majority of this clothes are skirts and i have like a shirt also so it's a lot of colors you know a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of this a little bit of that so for my minimalistic girls who love their neutrals i do have neutrals and for those of you who love colors i am both i love colors i love my neutrals also i have colors for y'all so let's just get started so this everyone please be quiet so the first piece I am going to talk about is this beautiful skirt. Uh, it has a knot thin in front, a twisty knot thing. And I wore this with a purple uh, bodysuit. So I wore my Skims bodysuit with it just because this spring I feel like the trend is color, color, color and a lot of color blocking. So I color blocked with purple. I didn't want to do blue because most people do blue, most people do pink and green. So I just wanted something different. So I decided to do purple and green. So I paired this with the purple skims and Fendi. And then I wore my green uh, mules with them. And then I think I will be carrying a green bag with this. So this is a very beautiful skirt. It's a grass green, a true green. So I really do love this. And of course, the twisty thing in front of it really made me want it really bad. So yeah. And I got this a uh, UK 10, which is a US 6. And this is kind of short. I am 5'4", and just kind of short on me. So if you are shorter, cool, or my height. But if you are taller, you might want to get something a little bit bigger. Because I notice the bigger it is, the more fabric they use. So you can get a bigger size and get it altered. If you really want it that bad. Then... The next one is this one. So this skirt right here has a zipper on the side and I got this in a UK 10 also. I love this abstract, or should I say this? This abstract print is really beautiful. I just like it so much. I love how it has um, the little statues on it. It's very different. So I feel like I've seen this on like celebs, but this is the pretty little thin version and it's more affordable. So I like this cause it has um, a, what's it called? A ruching in front of it. You might not see it while I'm holding it, but in the video you'll see it. And then it has uh, a crisscross thing in front, which I really thought was cute. This fits really good and I like the fabric because it's breathable and is not see-through so that's really good so in the video this i start with a button up white shirt nothing serious something very simple with white pumps you know i just wanted it simple i just wanted to go for something very simple no stress but you could do a lot more with this you know you could wear it with let's say a crop top a white crop top or an orange crop top and orange sandals you know so this I really do like. And I love the fact that it's very colorful so I can play with this a lot. So let's talk about the next one. 
So the next one is shirt. So this shirt I really, really do like. I like this button up oversized shirt. This is the sleeves right here. So I got this also in the UK 10. This shirt, actually, I could do a lot with this. It's a true grain, a grass grain. In the video, I wore it as an oversized shirt with like yellow um, mules and a yellow purse. Like I said, I wanted to do a lot of colors. You know, I wanted it to pop. I just didn't want to do all grains. You could do monochromatic look and do all grain if you want, but I just wanted something different. So I know green and yellow looks good together. So I went with yellow. And I could probably even still wear it with little shorts and let's say bralette inside of it and leave it unbuttoned. That's another way I could wear it. But for the purpose of this video, I wore it buttoned so you could see the whole shirt to see how it really looks. And yeah, that's a beautiful shirt. I really do like it. And yep, UK 10, US 6. And I like the length on me, you know, mid thigh, perfect. And the next one is, so this is the next skirt. I told y'all I did get a good amount of skirts. I got majority skirts in this haul. So this, for my minimalistic girls who love their neutrals, this right here is for y'all. This is very beautiful. I love the fringe detail on the bottom. Then it has this belt thing in front. You could tie it if you want, if you want it shorter, or you can leave it on tight. For the purpose of this video, I did tie it and also did another look with it untied. So you can see how it looks. So this one I got in a UK 8, not a UK 10. So I got a UK 8, which is a US 4, and it's still pretty much fit. On the Pretty Little Thing website, they do have this in different colors. So many colors, not just this color. So if I do not see it anymore in this color, I'll be putting the other colors there for y'all. And this is very beautiful, especially the French part of it. So I wore this in the video with my Skims bodysuit and I wore it with my Jardor um, slingbacks and they looked beautiful. So the next one is this skirt. This skirt I got in a UK 10. It's very colorful, it's very stretchy, which I do like, you know. So even if you are, let's say a UK 12, which is a US 8. This will still feature because it's really stretchy. I love the fringe part on the bottom. And for the video, I actually folded this part, the waist, because it was kind of like too long on me. So I folded the waist a little. So yeah, it has the ruffle stain in the middle, which I think was really cute. And also has the ruffles on the bottom here. I love this fabric. It's not see-through, it's well made. And I styled it with a pink bodysuit and um, my pink Jimmy Choo's. So this I do like for the spring. I love the fact that it's very colorful also. It has uh, black, orange, and white. So I do like this a lot because I could play with this. I love pieces that are so versatile. Then this one is the last. So this skirt is a black tennis skirt. It reminds me of like tennis players. It has pleats and it has a split on the side here. Where is it? Yeah, it has a split on the side here. I'm not sure why. I don't know why it needs to split, but whatever. So, um, and it has a button right here in front. And this, I styled it with a white crop top, some uh, boots, and a uh, nude blazer, cropped blazer. And this uh, is just a black simple skirt. So I wore um, over the knee boots just because on cold spring days, I might wear my boots, you know. Spring is weird. Sometimes it could be warm, sometimes it could be cooler. So that's why I started with boots. And I did want to pick a black skirt just for my girls who don't do colors there's a skirt for you black skirts you know and i really do like the pleats the only thing about this i just wish the pleats went all the way down 
because you see there's the pleat starts from the top and by the bottom it's not really pleated as much so that's the only thing i don't like about this i'm so sorry my video stopped recording it died <laughs> So anyways, like I was saying, I do like this skirt. I love the button in front of it. It's really cute. And for the purpose of the video, I actually had to fold it to make it a little shorter just because I wanted the top of my boots to show, you know? So that's why I had to fold it. And of course, if you are taller than I am, then you might not need it folded. But for me or for shorter girls, you might need to fold the skirt up a little bit if you want it shorter and that's that so thank y'all for sticking with me throughout this video i do appreciate it and i'll be catching y'all in my next video love y'all don't forget to subscribe